Hey guys, welcome back to Ravenclaw Reads. I'm Courtney and today I'm going to do my end of the year book tag. I'm actually filming this on the Thanksgiving that's celebrated in the United States. So if you celebrate or you're spending time with family, hope you're enjoying this. I hope you can pop this on after you've had a great day with family. You're cleaning up the dishes or you're whatever you're enjoying today, you have something to watch to keep you busy. But this end of the year book tag, um, I believe it was originated by Rachel Catherine. I will tag the video down below. This end of the year book tag is meant to go through a couple of questions that I have to the side, so I'm, keep, I'm looking off about how to finish off the end of the year. So um, this year has been an amazing year of reading. It's still only November, so I have December, but I've almost reached um, 200 books read this year. I think I'm at like 195 or something like that. My original goal was 70 books, um, and then after I demolished that goal, uh, probably around May, um, I knew I wanted to keep going and then when I saw 200 close to my sights mentally I thought 200 but I didn't write it down or share too much because if I didn't make it is okay but I think I am going to make that goal um, and it's been quite the journey. So today I'm going to answer a couple of questions about how I plan to finish up the year. Um, please feel free to comment down below what you think about the books and what you want to finish this year. So question number one. The first question is, are there any books you need to finish by the end of the year? The answer is yes. Um, so I am quite the mood reader, which means when I am ready to pick a book or I'm in the middle of a series, sometimes I stop because I no longer want to read it. But there's for sure three books that I want to finish um, and just I, I want to finish these series. So the first is... The Toll by Neil Schusterman. This is part of the Scythe series. Um, I blew through books one and two, really, really enjoyed them, and I do enjoy The Toll. I just paused at some point, and I haven't picked it up. I'm on the page 159, um, and I have a copy on my Kindle as well. Nothing wrong with this book at all. I just paused for the moment, but I definitely want to get this done before the end of the year. The other book that I had that I paused is The Messengers. This is part of the Greystone Secrets book three. This is a middle grade book. I picked up the original book, The Strangers, in May um, and enjoyed it. And then I read the second book and did not really enjoy it. But then I figured I had to read the third book just to finish the series. And I've been stuck on page 137 for months. So I would love to just put a pin in this whole series and get it done. Um, this is not my favorite series. It has some loopholes that I don't agree with. I'm just kind of confused by, but I want to check this off my list. And then, as many of us are, we're reading Iron Flame. This is the second book uh, following Fourth Wing. And I started this last week, actually, and was starting off pretty strong. Got about a hundred some pages in. However, I started hearing lots of reviews, which has pluses and minuses, right? Um, about how this might not be the best book um, and how people don't like the ending. I've also heard mixed reviews about it. But I picked this up right after reading the book Powerless. Um, and I just wasn't in the mood for another high political, like get into another world fantasy. So I do want to read this by the end of the year because I think the longer it takes me to read it, the less I'll be interested in reading it. But I have a pin in it for right now. And then finally, this is big aspirations. I don't know that I'll finish these, but I would love to finish um, House of Earth and Blood and then House of Sky and Breath. The new third book comes out in January. And so I would love to have these under my belt, at least started for uh, House of Earth and Blood. I'm on page 185. Um, but I actually have it on my Kindle too and I was thinking about restarting it. I didn't realize I was that far into it because I got new editions. Um, but I really liked the book. It was pretty modern and I liked the storyline. Um, I don't remember why I paused. Uh, I think it was to read Throne of Glass actually, which probably I didn't need to do. But I really want to get this done, um, so I can read the third book and enjoy it. So those are the books that I would like to finish by the end of the year. Okay, the next question is, do you have an autumnal book to transition to the end of the year? It's not really autumnal, but more just like something else that I would like to carry on. And that is Divine Rivals by Rebecca Ross. 
I've tried to pick this up several times. Um, it's on Kindle Limited, and they asked, actually had it in the book of the month. This gives witchy vibes to me, and everyone was talking about it in October, but I never got to it. So I still have it on my list. I actually like to read it this week uh, or this weekend to see if I can get it finished. I think it gives autumn, but I'm still kind of here for it. So I would love to read that one. The next question is, is there a book you think could still shock you and become a favorite book of the year? You know, I've had a lot of really good books this year, um, and so I don't know yet about this question. I hope the books on the series that I'm finishing up are really good. I feel like The Toll will be really good. That won't be a shock to me. Um, I think Crescent City series is going to be really good. I think it might be a new release that I'll read that's going to be, that's going to shock me. However, I generally try to read books that I like, and so... Uh, I shouldn't be shocked. I think I'm more shocked when they're not good and I picked them out and spent time to read them. So I think that would shock me more. Okay, and the last question is what books do you, what new release books are you looking forward to reading? And there's quite a few. So I will just go to what I know coming out more recently. Um, so at the end of this month, we are going to have Lynn Painter's Betting on You, which I'm really excited about. I like her writing style and it's a cute romance. Also looking forward to reading Wreck the Halls. So excited because I actually just got this for my Secret Santa present. Um, if you want to know more about how we do Secret Santa, check out my daily, my weekly reading vlog that comes out on Sunday. Um, Iron Flame was on my list of new releases to come out. And then as we get into the new year, um, there's quite a few books that I want to take a look at. Uh, I think, let's see, um, Sarah Adams has a new book coming out. Christina Lauren has a couple of new books coming out. So some of my auto buy authors have books coming out. I'm really excited about that. So the last part of this is what are my plans for the upcoming reading year? As we go into 2024, um, I don't know. I really like the way I do my reading now. I think I want to have more ideas for my channel, maybe post more than two videos. Um, I would like to honestly clear out some of my Kindles. I love my Kindle Scribe, um, but I also just want a second Kindle and not have like so many to juggle, but that might be impossible. I probably will always have them because who's going to get rid of a Kindle? Um, what else? I am thinking about my Goodreads goal. I'm one of those people that still likes reading Goodreads I, or using Goodreads. I enjoy it. Um, I know the platform, but I think I'm going to challenge myself and maybe make my goal 100 or 125 books versus 70 or 80 or 90. But I don't know. There's something about meeting the goal and exceeding it that drives me more so than racing to finish the goal. Um, and then the way that I do my books now um, when I read them is I put them digitally on a, on a sheet that shows the cover of the book, the author, and what I rated it. And then I also have just like a monthly what I read. Um, and so I'll st still do that. I'm interested to see at the end of the year what kind of graphs and information I get from the books that I've read. I was trying to do a spreadsheet situation, but that fell off like literally in February or March because I was reading so quickly um, that I couldn't keep up with the spreadsheet and it's just too far gone now to enter all of that. Um, and then I also started on StoryGraph because I wanted to see um, sort of what that was going to look like at the end of the year. But again, I stopped. So I think I'll just stick with Goodreads and see what data I can get from that. Um, but I want to continue to challenge myself uh, and have fun. And I also like the idea of slowing down as I am kind of contradicting myself. But I do like the idea of, you know, I hit 200 books in a year, I can do that. But I also want to focus on reading really high quality books, reading the books thoroughly, um, and maybe picking more challenging books just to have more topics of conversation versus just something fluffy and easy so I could have the number written off. So we'll see. I have lots to think about for the new year, but that is my end of the year book tag. Please comment down below what you think about the end of your reading year and what it will look like. Uh, comment if you've read, read any of the books that I've mentioned or you plan to. Um, and stay tuned for my weekly reading vlog on Sunday. And we will see you then. Bye, guys.